and welcome to Canon City Comic Club, a weekly examination of the most memorable storylines in comic books. I'm your host, Tristan Cooper. I have to warn you, I'm going to be saying the word Thanos, like the word Thanos. I will explain myself, and by the end of the show, you will agree with me. Andrew Bridgman is not here today, but good news. Carolyn Page is here. I am the new Andrew. Yes, the new Andrew. Carolyn, new Andrew Page is here. That's what they call me. I got some cool hair. My hair is darker colored because okay. I'm Andrew. Uh huh. And wow. I sit at my desk. I thought and Andrew was in the studio right now, but it's new Andrew. Pretty good posture. Also in the I'm studio. Andrew. <laughs> also in the studio, besides Andrew and new Andrew, Randy McKay <laughs> is back, back with us again. Hi, it's me, Randy McKay. I'm back at you with more opinions. Mm -hmm. I'll probably dissent, but I agree with uh, Tristan okay. on, on Thanos. Okay. Uh, but I might also call him Thanos. I'll jump. Mm -hmm. I'll jump around. Really? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, uh, for reference, we are talking about uh, Thanos Wins, a, a very recent uh, book by Donny Cakes, Jeff Shaw. Um, and it is a comic all about... Uh, an old Thanos summoning a, a, the young current Thanos uh, to help out with a problem in the future. Everything is dead, but is it? <laughs> Spoiler <What>? alert: <laughs> It's not. <laughs> <laughs> what does an what does an old man who who has killed everything? What do you get for the man who's killed everything? Uh, <laughs> uh, a different book. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so before. <laughs> Before uh, we get into this, I assume both of you have seen Infinity War, familiar with Thanos, as he is yes. called in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yes. Have either of you uh, uh, been privy to uh, Thanos from the Marvel comics? Uh, I've just always said it, Thanos. Mm -hmm. That's that's fair. I is mean, is it spelled differently at a different no, no, time? No. Why no. do you say it, Thanos? Um. Because that's because, how the English language works. Well, well, it's I, not. I believe Th Thanos gets his name from uh, a secondary source. I forget where it is from, uh, but the character that he is named after is, is pronounced Thanos. Um, so that's what some writers have always believed. It's, al it's always been kind of like a back and forth, and hmm. it was only like really canonized, as it were in um, uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe recently. I think Thanos, the ah sound, because that's the sound that you make before he kills you. You're like, ah, Thanos! <laughs> you I'm don't more, go, hey! I'm like, Someone's attacking, like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. The, uh, short vowel sound. I, I only scream like, ah, ah. Okay. Ah. Okay. Oh, no. Randy doesn't A scare spider. easy. No. Well, I'm, I'll be saying Thanos. Yeah, I'm of the opinion, call it whatever you want. You know what I mean? Sure. I, I'm just sort That's of how English works. I'm sort of, yeah, exactly. <laughs> English works however you want it to. Uh, say it however you want to. Uh, we're talking about the comics, Thanos, who I should say is a little bit different. Uh, let's uh, sort of like rewind a minute, get into some continuity catch up with the comic book Marvel Comics version of Thanos, who is a little bit different than the Josh Brolin CGI uh, Raisin Man you would you have seen for the last ten years in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the Stingers Raisin and whatnot. Uh, he his motivations he looks very much the same, but his motivations are very different. Uh, in the uh, in the movies, he wants to kill half the universe with the Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, yep. As he does in the comics, but he doesn't want to in the comics. He doesn't want to kill half the universe to save everyone. He wants to kill everyone to impress Death, who is often depicted as a hot lady in the Marvel sure. Cinematic Universe, and um, it makes him a a very different character. Maybe uh, maybe potentially less relatable. Maybe worse. Less, uh, potentially. Worse. Potentially. You're looking for the word worse. Uh, uh. Less likable, but he still believes in it, but he is uh, much more selfish, I feel like, in this. Uh, He's a classic villain. He just wants power. I see it yeah. as he wants power. Yes. And you, we we do get to see where that leads, which is a it's a very sad place. Uh, so we should get right into it real quick with the uh, book breakdown, starting from the very beginning. Uh, the book kind of opens with Thanos being Thanos. He is uh, he he is he is sort of like murdering the Chitari, just because I was like, oh, I forgot they were, I forgot they existed. I just watched the Avengers uh, movie again, and 
those aren't scrolls. Those are, those are Chitari. I should go to the Chitari world and just like sort of mess some stuff up. Well, it really starts with war snow, which is sure. blood, frozen yeah. blood, which I thought was fucking cool. Like this comic book's already off to a badass it's start. No, it's so dumb. It's, it's, it's trying blood. To, it's trying to top itself. Like the language of the narration is some of the worst thing I've ever seen. It's like, oh, whoa, whoa, you, whoa. yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, so it's like, I loved uh, it. It jumps off. It's like, surely you've heard of the Leviathans, the warships made out of super bio sharks that, and, but, and, and you must know about the, uh, the, mm. the warriors of the Chintari and, no, and the children that eat the blood snow to become strong where it's just like god what are you what are you doing right. i get it they're badass and then thanos is there being a bigger badass i guess it's just like setting itself up it's just full of hot air and i am what incredibly annoyed no by no, it. no 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 right from the randy jump, this book is lost me. right from the jump randy is super wrong <laughs> How that's your that? superpower is being wrong wow because this was it was badass and i love the epic nature so much of this book it's like you start off fucking in the depths of space and then it just expands to the universe and you're on that journey. Like, you're fucking powerful being on on the ride and it's cool. How? It, it immediately jumps in and um, is like, I'm oh, sorry. you know about I'm this. Sorry. So I'm not going to tell you anything about if it. If you can't, I cannot explain how snowing blood is cool <laughs> if you don't think that's cool. I can't. Like bring you it is, there. It is like the most metal thing you yeah. can you can see. And like yes, snow, the most metal thing to fall from the sky. It's frozen. It's it's death. <laughs> yeah, uh, frozen blood. I I am I am uh, with Carolyn more than than Randy here. I, yeah. I am. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I saw suck this it. coming. I suck it, McKay. I understand, but I am I am uh, enjoying so much, uh, Randy. We before the show, you were holding this in the whole time. I know you have. Even more thoughts, and this is just the tip of the uh, blood uh, snow iceberg. The, the snow, the snowy the bloodberg, <laughs> the snowy <laughs> bank of blood, which eventually turns into a rain of blood also when a uh, cosmic ghost rider comes from the sky, uh, and he just like kind of casually says, "Oh hey, how's it going?" Like I always imagine like his skeleton voice, like, "Oh hey." I'm a skeleton. Oh, I do doing? love the Cosmic Ghost Rider so much. He's my favorite character in this entire arc. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't want to give too much away, but like, he's the only thing done properly. Yeah? You think so? I think so. Interesting. I had some different feelings on Cosmic Ghost Rider, his origins. Uh, the I, I like his character. He's fun, but like the reveal that we get later... It, it sort of like felt it sort of felt weird and Are off you kidding? to me. That's the good part. I I, I think I understand. I I really enjoyed the character, but something about something the nerd in me is like, um, uh, he yeah. wouldn't do that. Uh, sure. that wouldn't happen in this fantasy world where there's snow blood. <laughs> oh, and, if you want to poke holes in it, I can do that <laughs> well, all day. But. Well, but that that to me was like the joy of this book. Mm -hmm is it's so fun. Like they're really playing with all these fun characters and tropes and things. And like Marvel does that so well mm -hmm. because it's what if. Yes. A lot of it is what if. Yes. And that's fun. It's so fun. And then we get to see Blood Snow and some awesome fights between like characters that wouldn't normally be battling. Yes. Yeah. I will I will say that usually I am I you know it, there's a lot of what ifs lately. There's a lot of time travel. There's a lot of alternate universe, alternate versions of characters, and uh, I've been, been fatigued in the past with this in superheroes because it feels like um, there are <laughs> the when it comes to events and like large epic scale stories. There's there's it's less about superheroes being superheroes and like what if superheroes were different um, uh, than battling alternate versions of themselves. But I will say this book does it so well that like I don't care it takes in like old man logan we right away we get cosmic ghost rider coming in awesome. from the future awesome he's great captures he's played by ryan reynolds cap Somehow. Kind, kind of he is kind of yeah uh played yeah. by ryan reynolds uh captures uh Let's young cast this movie as we go through it. oh yeah the movie version of this how do we find two josh brolins uh, we'll get cable mm. to come in great yeah also uh, a time traveler okay okay uh, so, <laughs> Cosmic Ghost Rider comes in, captures uh, uh, modern day Thanos with the uh, chains made out of the bones of Sidorak, uh, who is also a, metal. All, pretty, it's pretty metal. 
and then he takes uh, modern Thanos to the future to meet old King Thanos. Yes. Old King Thanos. Bop, 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 who bop, bop, conquered bop, the bop, universe. Bop. He whose throne is just Galactus's head. He like sits on like Galactus's <laughs> tongue, basically. I... Oh, I, I think I missed that part. That. No, no, I yeah. saw his throne, but I didn't realize that was like just the innards of Galactus. Like in that big splash page where you see him sitting there first, you can even see like the teeth like all around the throne because he's just like. Ah, I thought yeah. it was just added metal stuff. No, uh, I seeing Galactus's head as his throne is like <laughs> that's fucking cool, man. And then also right away, I feel like we kind of get that this is like we're in a very sort of pretendy dimension. Sure. Not like our modern, not like uh, the modern Marvel universe, Blood Snow dimension. Yeah, we're in the new place where Thanos it looks like Thanos, except for he's got kind of like a scraggly beard, and then he's also got like kind of a gut. Yeah, he sort of like let himself go. Yeah. I don't know what he's eating exactly. He's I lizards. have so many he, questions. He, he, about he eats this. lizards. They show it oh, okay. in the breakfast scene. Yeah, I he's like, it, yeah. let's have breakfast, and then it's just a table full of lizards it, it's again, very... metal, and like. If you're the most powerful being in the universe, you can have anything you want for breakfast. Yeah, you don't know what he likes. But I don't he, know what he. I don't know what they. He's eat. killed Titans. almost everything, except for the lizards. <laughs> except for the lizards, he's tasted everything in the universe. He's eaten everything. He's the most he lizard. landed on the lizards. I've never eaten a lizard. My question, not is, it's not have you eaten a lizard? You can leave that wherever you want. Okay. If you have, I have. Um, okay. Rad. Well, uh, alligator. Metal. Oh, I, I've done that. Yeah. Uh, my question is, who is preparing these lizards for him? Who is maintaining his, to his galactus lizards. head throne? Who is, who is, like, who is taking care of his funky beard? He's his beard a, is so well manicured and, like, I just He's got disagree. Ryan Reynolds. Fi he's fiery got, Ryan Reynolds <laughs> is taking care of everything. Just he scorching. Had, does yeah. he have, no, he doesn't have the inf a full infinity gauntlet because no. the time stone is kind of busted. Yeah. Uh, but I don't even, think the gauntlet plays a uh, uh, appearance in this at yeah. all. Even so, no. um, Thanos, uh, old, old King Thanos is depicted as having killed almost everything in the universe. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, pretty much all in, in service to Death, who has a big statue on his planet, and it's basically like that classic Death uh, depiction <laughs> of like, that? "Hey, here's a skull lady. Here's a skeleton with a rockin' bod." Yeah. Yeah, right. skeleton with metal. tits. I get it. <laughs> skeleton with tits is metal. That's it's metal. like every no. 80s metal album I cover. am not going to deny how metal this comic is. It's just like trying to top itself with well, flowery language that it just falls flat for me. It's just like, yeah, but where are your actual if stakes? You can, if you can't enjoy the metal, <laughs> I don't know how we're going to like even mm -hmm. have a productive conversation about this. <laughs> I think the conversation's going great. Um, I'm loving it so far. Um, uh, move, moving on in the story, like <laughs> when when the two, the two Thanoses, the Thani, Thani, uh, they do not get along uh, because uh, even though that they, they are maybe the only the only people that Thanos should respect, because Thanos respects no one because he's the best. Because he sure. thinks he's got he's so narcissistic. He's the ultra powerful, and even though objectively he's looking at the same person, he's looking into the mirror. They're both like, "Ugh, you're such a yeah. ding dong, uh, you young boy. You know nothing. You old man. You're pathetic and weak." And, and, it, and that's essentially that's essentially their dynamic, and it's very funny to me because uh, they're literally the same person, and like uh, they're still at war. They're tr still trying to be to be the best, even though. Uh, for all intents and purposes, Thanos has already won in this case. Yeah. Uh, That's what it takes to be the best. Yeah. Sometimes you, the, the ultimate thing you have to defeat mm -hmm. is yourself. Wow. Deep, wow. dude. Very deep. Extremely deep. Dang. Uh, speaking of nothing, uh, Hulk is also alive. Oh, yeah. Hulk is a dog. Hulk, Puppy Hulk. Hulk Wolf. Hulk Wolf. Uh, uh, Bruce Banner has stayed alive and, like, he is... Being fed uh, various leftover people. lizards and leftover oh, yeah. livers. he lives in a bone pit. Steve Rogers was apparently fed to uh, this feral Bruce Banner Hulk, um, who seems to like be barely coherent, have some some sort of language left. But well, he's been around for millennia, so I think at yeah. that point you just beg for death every day. Yeah, I, I I don't know what Hulk is eating either. 
Is he also eating lizards or all those lizard bones yeah, all around uh, his body? We're introduced to Hulk by um, ghost, uh, cosmic ghost rider, yeah. like taking away Thanos' leftover lizards and being like, come with me, young Thanos. I'll show you the dog. And it's the whole, and it's, yeah. it's very silly. It is, and it is, I enjoyed it. I thought yeah, that it's fun. It's, it's fun. I didn't it say is, it was good, but it's fun. <laughs> it, is, be- it is uh, one of uh, a lot of things in this book reminds me of Old Man Logan. In that it is, uh, the, it is there is a Hulk. There's an old Hulk in uh, Old Man Logan mm-hmm. who is like old and like corrupt and like kind of evil and like taking over California and with his whole inbred <laughs> the whole family. family and everything. Yeah. Um, this is this is different. This is a like like a more pathetic like feral, it's uh, sad. Broken wild, Hulk. broken Hulk. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, it's, it's a it's a post apocalyptic future where Hulk is still around. You know what I mean? And it also has some shades of, um, I don't know if either of you have read the Jason Aaron uh, run of Thor, where he meets um, Thor, modern day Thor meets young Thor meets old Thor Ooh, in the future. I like the sound of that. Um, yeah. Maybe we should put that on the table somewhere because that's that's a great read, I think. Um, but it, and it reminds me of some other things we'll get to a bit later, but uh, there's a, it kind of like... Uh, picks a lot from like the best like time travel alternate universe stories to kind of make its own thing, which uh, I was entertained by. And um, we should really get into Cosmic Ghost Rider, as yeah. you mentioned, because it's around this time that he reveals that he is Frank Castle, aka the Punisher. Awesome. Uh, several so thousand years later. Um, this is metal. I will do one of these to you for. Yeah, That's the Immortal good metal. Punisher. Wow. It's so funny to me that you are both on board with this, and I am <laughs> maybe just a smidge iffy on this because, as you mentioned, Cosmic Ghost Rider is Ryan Reynolds. He's like kind of like kind of like uh, kind of out of it, pretty uh, quippy, but but yeah. pretty pretty quippy and uh, not like he's not Deadpool, but he's more like just Ryan Reynolds in a movie. If that makes more sense, sure. He's not Detective Pikachu. No, uh, he's, <laughs> he's Van Wilder. He's ooh, he's, he's Van Ryder. Val, okay, nice. All right. Well, I, I mean, sorry, I can't Cosmic Van Ryder. <laughs> uh, so the the whole backstory is that um, while Thanos was taking over the world, uh, Frank Castle was one of the last people to fall, and sort of he like in <laughs> his last reason. moments, sort of like for some for whatever reason, like I imagine like. When when he meets Frank Castle, Thanos doesn't know who he is. He's like, "Wait, who? Should I know you?" He's like, uh, "Well, no, no, it's fine." It's right, fine. like Punisher <laughs> is not on Thanos's no. exactly. Radar. He's, he's, a gu- he's a man with a gun. He's a man with a gun who's right. like taking out and a pass. He's not a. He doesn't fight cosmic level threats for the most part. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. So they're on, they're on different levels for sure. And so uh, while uh, while Thanos is tearing apart. Iron Man just tearing him right in half. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, so satisfying. It's quite, Very metal. It's quite a spread uh, you've got there. Um, Punisher's <laughs> just kind of like laying there saying, like, I would just like do anything to, uh, uh, you know, to, to, get, to get to punish Thanos. Yeah. And that's when, you know, the devil Ned Flanders comes up and says anything. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's Mephisto. And uh, <laughs> at that point, they, they make a deal and he becomes Ghost Rider. And it reminded me a lot of that moment in I don't know if either of you read Punisher Born. Uh, the end of Punisher. This is uh, in the in Punisher Born. Uh, Frank Castle is in Vietnam. He is surrounded by enemies. He's about to uh, probably get killed. And like, there's a there's sort of like a, a like a, a dark voice in his head that is like ambiguous. But like, some people believe that it's like uh, that is the moment he made a deal with the devil to be like the ultimate killing machine and sort of like almost like sacrifice his family when he gets home. Whoa. Basically he to did it to himself. Kind of, I mean, that is like <laughs> kind of like loosely implied, like you could you could probably argue it, but like he makes a similar uh, pact with the maybe his the dark presence in his body or or uh, maybe just Satan or whatnot. Sure. Uh, and that's what happens here, only very literal. Uh, mm-hmm. Frank Castle becomes the actual Ghost Rider, just a regular Ghost Rider at first, because still metal. It's still it's still metal. Oh, flaming tires on your motorcycle with a giant uh, what do you uh, like Gatlin gun? Gatlin gun thing? on it, yeah. But the problem is that uh, Thanos killed everyone. So he can't punish anyone. Yeah. So he's there's just, no one left to punish because the lizards are presumably sinless. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of like the and monk. 
the monkey's paw situation. Yeah. Mephisto's like, oh, everyone died, so you're going to be a ghost rider of nothing. Like, yeah. you, you can't punish anyone. You're just kind of like riding your motorcycle, cruising. And uh, That sounds sweet. There's water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink, basically. Mm. For uh, Punish, punish rider. everywhere, but not a drop to punish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like he's trying to read, and he just like accidentally sets all of his books on fire. You know, <laughs> there was time now, but uh, he just can't do it. Yeah, he wanted to take up gardening. Uh, so at some point, he becomes the herald of a desperate gal- Galactus. Oh yeah, this is silly. Uh, Galactus comes to town. He's like, hey. Um, I was coming here for help from Earth. I know that there's yeah. like hero stuff here, the Fantastic Four, the it's Avengers. Like Avengers. Anyone? Are you home? Anyone? Richards, goes... help, please. And at this point, after roaming the countryside for thousands of years or hundreds of years, uh, Frank Castle has gone quote unquote insane, according to the book. Sure. Yeah. Which yeah. is just kind of being a little bit more quippy, I guess. Uh, <laughs> and like a little bit less. Uh, I curse now. Concern- yeah, I curse now. I'm kind of more casual, which I'm like, is that what like hanging out on the earth for hundreds of years would do to Frank Castle? He would just become quippy on a scorched, obliterated earth. Yeah. Well, he was always so dark, uh, so maybe it's just a reversal. He, his personality just did a 180. So it's you, dark humor. So like Deadpool. It's dark humor. He says the S word. So presumably. I don't know what it is. So like Ghost Rider Pool like would become like very serious instead. Yeah. And he would not be quippy anymore. Okay. Yeah, he'd, he'd be those sad the, like the rest of us. Those are the two options. I want to see every Marvel character become the Ghost Rider. Okay. That okay. would be sweet. Storm sure. Ghost Rider? Oh, yeah. Are you fucking shitting me? Wow. That would be cool. Spider Rider just like flaming webs at you? Yeah. yeah. I All right. New comic. The- We're <laughs> writing a new comic. Well, I guess Ghost Spider counts as that, right? Yeah. Some of these have to <laughs> exist. I'm sure of it. I'm sure there have been other writers. There have been other like writers like within the Ghost Rider world. Like there's uh, Danny Ketch and Johnny Blaze and uh, I think uh, <laughs> Alejandra. Cool yeah, they have cool names. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they all have pretty cool names. Oh, that's cool why I'm names. not a Ghost Rider. My name's not cool enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's, that's the real issue yeah. here. Then I can't talk to my darkness within. So uh, <laughs> the backstory essentially ends when, uh, you know, uh, Galactus basically helps, uh, gives the power cosmic to Ghost Rider to become his herald. Um, <laughs> sort of like his sidekick or whatnot. And uh, Galactus immediately gets murdered, as we know, because yeah. his skull is a throne. But question, yeah, like Galactus comes to Earth for help because he's got a terrible, terrible, like, wound. mortal wound. It's yeah. like bleeding all over the place. It's like gushing, it's like a flood. Yeah. So he gets healed with the help of his Ghost like, Rider. Th- does he shoot it? Does he shoot it better? Like how no, does he Ghost Rider cauterizes it, and then Galactus is very powerful, so he heals, and he consumes <laughs> what's left juice. of the Earth's energy. Yeah, he there you go. drinks his Galactus uh, juice. So he can give someone the power cosmic, but he can't take care of his own wound. He needs to like it's give called, someone else. It's called irony. It's called literary irony. Oh yes, Has, maybe you've heard that of it. Famous all, term. All the great writers use this. We spent. <laughs> maybe you've heard of. Irony. Maybe you've have heard it, of it. Surely you've heard of literary alliteration. Randy and I are going to have a straight up fist fight after this. Wow. I'm going to lose. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so Galactus dies. Yeah, so Galactus, Galactus dies and gets his head taken. And Ghost Rider's right like, off. well, I can't die. You want to kill everything. Let's team up. So basically, that's when old Thanos and uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider first team up. And then we're basically brought back to the present. Where old King Thanos says, "Hey, BTW, uh, I brought you here because I need to fight uh, off like the last big threat, who is the Silver Surfer." Yeah. So the Silver Surfer comes with the uh, Annihilation Wave, led by I don't think Annihilus is in the picture, but it's basically like a big swarm of bugs, mm-hmm. more yeah. or less. Yeah, um, he's got the a darkened Silver Surfer and a bunch of bugs, and this is what Thanos needs the help of two Thanoses to beat. They're yeah. like very. Cosmically powerful bugs. The, yeah, the cosmic bugs. They are like they are a, a pretty big threat, like historically in the uh, in the comics. That's fair. I don't know anything about Annihilus. Uh, yeah, uh, it's it's like the Zerg almost. I would imagine like, in like mm. Starcraft or something. Mm. That's the yeah, power maybe, overwhelming or Starship Troopers or something like mm. that. You know, there there's a lot of bugs. Power overwhelming, as you mentioned, strength in numbers. So that's why uh, uh, old Thanos has brought young Thanos. Uh, into the mix, young Thanos not happy about it because it's like, hey, uh, are you you're a wimp? What do you need my help for? You're yeah. pathetic. 
Uh, but they they fight anyway because that's what Thanos does. The two yeah. Than I have a lot of tension between them. Mm-hmm. They're just like you're you suck. No, you <laughs> suck. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's uh, very silly. They're they start out losing the fight. Like like Surfer comes in and he's like ha 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 and yeah. just like kicking their butts and then um I think it's like the the annihilation bugs are like overwhelming them and then Ghost Rider does a cool thing yeah like uses a I don't know ghost flare I don't I don't mm-hmm. know very much of he what like he ghost does ghost nukes him Go, sure. yeah and then they're all gone but like Surfer's still very Surfer's strong still still around and he reveals uh that he has the power of Mjolnir uh Thor's hammer sick. Uh, Very and cool. it, you know, it's a, it's a nice moment. So he's, uh, he's pretty formidable. Uh, like Thor is a, is a good match for Thanos at one point. So a silver surfer, but silver surfer with the power of Thor, basically two things. Well, that's two things people. Yeah. That's, that's, you need the power of two things. Two. Wow. Thanos. I love yes. it. I love Amen. it. But the problem is that, uh, it's two Thanoses. So uh, they team up on the Silver Surfer, take the Sword of Surtur, who uh, you might have seen in Thor Ragnarok, the fire demon. Oh, sure. And um, they, just, they just chop his arm right off. It's, it's like very easy. It's like not hard well, for they them. Get there it's is a like powerful sword. Interesting. Yeah. Like I'll give the book this. It's yes. like, I know Thanos is going to win. It's called Thanos Wins. Right. How <laughs> they distracted the Silver Surfer long enough to, to make them win mm-hmm. was, like, fun. Like, um, uh, so very quickly, very anticlimactically, uh, the Ghost Rider sees that the Thanoses are struggling. He's like, I'll save you. Uh, Silver Surfer kills him. One hit with Mjolnir. Dead. Yeah. And that unleashes Hulk because he was held by the Bone Sidorak, which I guess Ghost Rider controls. Yeah. And uh, Silver Surfer's like, oh, no, my friend, Bruce. And then... He yep. calms down the Hulk, and the Hulk's like very, very sad. He says, "Please kill me," and he's like, "No, dude, what? What are you doing?" It'll be fine. Oh, <laughs> except for the sword uh, that stabbed yeah. this ball. Yeah, and I was like, "Okay, I'll give the book that." It's like I didn't know how you're gonna do it. I knew you were gonna do it. Yeah, there's a there's a nice I'm lead up. I'm sad at Ghost Rider's death because he was the only person I was on board with. Yeah, uh, but no. uh, yeah, it will Thanos help you. only. It will help you to know that Cosmic Ghost Rider went on to have uh, like a lot of other comic misadventures. Uh, came back immediately because it's comic books. Yeah. Um, so like I would I would like maybe like pursue uh, that line of comics. I haven't read them uh, as of yet, but I've heard good things. It's a recommendation uh, for all of us. Then. Yes. Yeah. As far as uh, this book goes, uh, after the death uh, demise of the Silver Surfer, that's when uh, Death comes to town, dressed for. An occasion, a wedding potentially. Um, it says she's dressed for a wedding. It says yeah. she's dressed for a wedding, but is she? I mean, I mean no, she she is not. But uh, no. she's she's gussied up. That's for sure. And yeah. she does the whole thing when Thanos confronts her. Uh, she does the whole kind of like Jim Halpert kind of like mugging to the camera like. Ugh. That's she doesn't say anything until the very end of the book, and the whole time she's just kind of like. Yeah. So uh, she's kind of like, uh, kind of like uh, you know, like uh, see no evil, hear no evil kind of stuff, and like, I don't know if I was into that. I don't know if I was into that depiction of, of death as I like wasn't. kind of like a mugging, uh, like uh, spectator. I guess I don't know. I didn't love that she was like wearing a wedding dress mm-hmm. or funeral dress, mm-hmm. which isn't a thing. Mm-hmm. Like what? I guess you wear they you, you do you in old timey funerals. You wear a veil to a funeral. Yeah. Mm. That kind of makes sense. So no you, one can see you cry. Do you, how much? How often do you wear a, uh, a like a strapless dress to a, a funeral? It's I a don't really wear strapless, strapless dresses is, is that, at all. That's not a that's not a that's not a funeral etiquette. You would say I like to dance a lot. And strapless dress means your titties hang out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not good um, mood for a funeral. Okay. Well, yeah, m- not, maybe not the, no. Maybe death is not uh, a not worried about that. Uh, sure. B, there's no one else around. True. Uh, B, probably not dancing. Dance like no one else is alive. That's true. Not dancing, just like doing funny faces. She, yeah. <laughs> she just make, she Pointing makes, at your nose. She and makes, having like war paint on. Yeah. She makes the Thanoses come to her, kind uh, of. Sure. Sure. Fucking power move. Uh, so it's at this point where there's two last people and like uh, Thanos is just kind of like yelling at her like, what do you want? And then they, they sort of like. The one thing her silence does is allow them to like sort of like 
be frustrated and puzzled to the point where the both th- both of the Thanoses fight each other. Yeah. Uh, and, then, and they have a reason she's, to I do so. I think she's just fucking kinky. And she's like, I want to <laughs> see my boyfriend punch my boyfriend. My old boyfriend. <laughs> I, well, yeah. were they even like a thing? Were they actually? I think I she's been nagging Thanos for so long, wow. and he should Stringing just have along. moved on. Yeah, he was around for millions of years. Okay, <laughs> just like, dude, she's not that into you, man. Okay, you've been very gracious in giving me some conceits about how metal this book is, uh-huh. and that some stuff is cool. I will now give you a conceit that I, I, it did lose something for me. As much as I enjoyed this book, it did lose something for me when it was revealed that. Thanos' motivation revolved entirely around sure. doing this for love. Sure. Because, which is, this is a larger philosophical discussion, I think, but there's that's so common in media and in stories sure. that, that, less, that that's someone's motivation. But is that ever in life? Like, I've never seen, no. I don't think people ever do that for love like it's like, always you can have mu- a muse but you don't like right. I'm going to hurt myself over and over and over again until you notice me mm-hmm. like, like it's always about the person instead right you know it's not it, it, it's always about yourself it's never about I think your maybe love. yeah I think maybe that issue is why they changed uh Thanos's motivation so much for the films right they didn't want uh, another manic pixie dead girl th- they kind of mentioned they kind of like allude to it a little bit in the, that first stinger at the fir- the end of the Avengers they say like oh yeah to to fight the Avengers would be to court death and that's when Thanos goes like hey, uh, from the comics right am I right everyone <laughs> wink uh, wink I like wink it. uh and they they change that cable. Sub- <laughs> <laughs> they they change that <laughs> they change that substantially uh, for the movies, I think for the better because it does make Thanos a more compelling character. In that, uh, at least he believes what he is doing is is right for everyone else. Whereas in this comic, he believes he, he's doing what is right for just himself, I guess. And for death, he's like doing all this. Right. He's almost like a selfless character, right? Because he's doing everything for death. He thinks that's what she wants. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's don't. really annoying. Uh, the yes. stakes are lame. The <laughs> stakes were. It felt like the stakes were low. Yeah. While in the in the movie, him him trying to achieve ultimate balance. Yeah. Is it's, like. It's sillier. I think it's sillier. Like just the idea. I am uh, the smartest, most powerful person, and I have uh, maybe the worst plan in in the universe. <laughs> and that doesn't. That makes no sense. That will help no one. Essentially. Uh, in the movies you're talking in the, about? In the movies. In the movies, he's super powerful. He's like, I don't know, 50%? It's like uh, like a kid saying, like, I think everything should be free. I think every, <laughs> I think half of everyone should die. That'll, that sounds good. Right. I did the math. Uh, I talked to all the scientists. Everyone would live. <laughs> uh, half. Half these. Yeah. Let's yeah. just split it down the middle. Right. And, like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> Let's but, poke holes in those movies one one uh, <laughs> episode, or all Marvel movies. Ooh. I think, we yeah, we, we should address that, uh, but we should get to the book itself. They, the, the both, uh, both Thanos's, Thane and I, they, they <laughs> have at it. There's a big fight scene. It's, it's a comic book. Got to have a big fight scene. Sure. Uh, yeah, especially at the end. Thanos is fighting himself and cannot bring himself to kill the old version of himself because he just finds himself so pathetic. Yeah. And uh, and that calls back to the very beginning of the, the, yeah. the book, you know, kings don't beg or right exactly. Uh, so the, yeah, the first time we actually see Thanos, he's killing the king of the Chitauri. He's like, "Please have mercy on me" or something like that. And he's like, "Oh, what? No, kings! <laughs> Sorry, kings don't do that." Steps on his head. But then when he sees that himself has now begged, he's like, "Oh." Oh, this is what I've become, and he gets very upset yeah. and does something drastic that I think Tristan wants to talk about. Um, he ends up. What do you mean? He does something drastic. He doesn't kill Thanos. He leaves him there, takes the time stone, uh, gets some Silver Surfer juice on it, kind of rubs it on there, <laughs> so he can like go back in time. Yeah, that sounds drastic. And uh, pledges to not become uh, old Thanos, and then he just like pieces out, and so that leaves uh, old King Thanos as truly the last living thing in the universe, besides I guess some lizards. I don't know. Right. Yep. I don't know what counts. I don't maybe know what counts that, in this. Maybe he knew that was his Did last breakfast, and light? so those were the last lizards. Okay. Oh, okay. Around. All right. Oh, yeah. He, he's, like, timed it all out perfectly. He, he like, double-checked his work with the time stone. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so at, at the very end, um, 
this uh, the, it basically like fades to black because uh, old Thanos realizes that uh, death is dressed for a funeral as opposed to a uh, wedding. Strapless dressed at a funeral. Strapless mm-hmm. dressed at a funeral. Uh, is the stuff ironic? she likes. Uh, <laughs> And then it just kind of fades to black because everything is dead and everything's done. And so is he. And that he won. That's what she says. That's what he wanted. But uh, it's a little bit amb- ambiguous as to uh, what winning means in this sense, I guess. Well, I think we have to read all Marvel comics in hopes that they'll someday mm-hmm. answer mm-hmm. how he wins. Young Thanos wins. Ugh, I don't know, man. Like, this entire thing just made me feel like, oh... Thanos is a teen boy. Like, sure. there's literally a part where he says, you can't sit with us, you know? And then us yeah. is a flower that he's has reserved for the girl that he likes. Sure. It's very silly. So, did... This is feels like a very dark question, and I don't want to talk about suicide lightly, sure. but why doesn't he kill himself? I don't think like, he can. He can't I think physically he, kill himself? I think he could. I don't think he has the will. I don't mm. think he has... He's cowardly. He's, wow. He's like kind of worn down by time. Like that is uh, something that I like a lot about um, these uh, stories about uh, <laughs> old versions of characters like Old Man Logan, mm-hmm. Old King Thor and whatnot is that um, with time, time kind of like sands down these characters to their finest points, to their their very essence. Mm-hmm. And um, at heart, Thanos is kind of pathetic. He is... Uh, he's... There's yeah. not there's not He's much lovesick. especially the comic book version there's just not much there. Right. Uh, there, there there's uh he's he's lovesick but uh with for, for all that power that he has he is just sort of uh, uh he, he he there's he's so insubstantial in his motivations in his in his character. Mm-hmm. Uh he's like kind of one dimensional and like sort of uh seeing seeing that at the very end uh with with old Thanos when he uh, his resolve is gone, and we see him for who, who he truly is just before he's uh, maybe about to be killed by his younger self. Uh, it's kind of, a, I guess, illuminating for me, and that's the part that kind of sealed the deal uh, for me was uh, just sort of seeing uh, what Thanos has become and and, and the denial of uh, what young Thanos thinks that he is, mm. if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> sure. It's just like, okay... So at the very least, we get what old Thanos is. But then what does that mean for young Thanos? Like, his only sakes is that he's disgusted. He's disgusted the entire book by everything. Sure. And what do you want, young Thanos? Tell us. Show us. Do any... Like, I, all I know is that I don't want to be that guy. Like, well, let's, yeah. he's let's, a team. Let's hearken back to the origin story we get of the, Thanos mm-hmm. in this book when he's... He's born, Mm -hmm. his mom is there at his birth, obviously, looks into his eyes, loses her shit, Mm -hmm. which I thought was pretty cool. And again, metal, like he's got universe eyes and she's just like, I can't handle it. There is a a mini series called Thanos Rising by uh, Thanos Rising. Excuse me. I'm sorry. What have you done? Uh, Jason Aaron and Simone Bianchi, I think. And it's uh, they go into that scene a little bit more. Like she tries to like kill the baby, and the doctors have to stop stop Whoa. her. It's like pretty intense. But sorry, go ahead. Oh, okay, that makes me feel better because then he kills her when yeah uh, he's, he's yeah. twelve, as it says. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, as you as you will. And um, so, but it, but they talk about him. He's this cosmic force. Mm-hmm. He's this powerful godlike being, and. Maybe that's a very philosophical uh, take that this book has, is saying, if you are born with all this power, how do you find your place in the universe? Mm -hmm. What does it mean to be a universal force, and how do you find meaning? And he finds meaning through love. Sure. You know, that gets uh, destruction perverted a little bit because he kills everything sure but maybe that's the that's the only meaning that he can find is through another person who in this case happens to be a sexy death (laughs) (laughs) sexy lady is it Uh, love if it's that selfish well i don't know if it was selfish because he's trying to give her what she wants he think, thinks she wants. Mm, that's he. That's what he thinks. He thinks she wants. Yeah. yeah. She and never he, said. She literally never said it. In the in the other comic, like 
in the in the space of this comic, like you don't get you get exactly what you are saying is that um, uh, he, he's giving her what he thinks that she wants, and he's always frustrated. He doesn't know like what to do right or or, or whatnot. And in the in the other comic that I mentioned, like uh, death is there from the beginning, kind of like grooming him. It's a mm. whole mm. situation. Uh, but oh wait, she's like his nanny. She's not. She's more like his like <laughs> uh, childhood friend. Oh. Kind of, oh. uh, but again, we're, we're not talking about that comic. It's like <laughs> kind of outside the bounds here. I do want to uh, make sure we touch on the the uh, extra short stories that are at the back of this book. Yeah, as part of the annual. Um, there are lots of like little little bits um, as part of a uh, co- co- book ended by Cosmic Ghost Rider in Valhalla uh, talking to Odin. Um, a lot of little short stories. I don't know how I felt about a lot of them. They're like kind of fun and silly. They're all good. This is the book I would have rather read. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah. The, the anthology of Thanos. Yeah. The one that how, stuck how out. I did my stuff. The one that stuck out to me was uh, the one where Thanos helps an old lady across the street. And it, at first, it feels very like Silver Age, like Thanos copter uh, era Thanos of like why is he doing this? But like we learned that the reason that he's doing this is because. Um, Doing so like sets off a chain of events that makes a a woman not like follow her dreams and basically like, cure cancer and become like the most famous like uh, benevolent person alive because she doesn't meet someone else. And at the very end of her life, uh, he goes <laughs> over to her and like zaps her in the head and says, "Hey, BTW, uh, this is what you could have had." And then she dies. And then he's just like, ah, "I I killed all the hope in the world." That's good. That's, That's real cruelty. Wow. I don't know. I don't know how I felt about I it. Love I get that. I get the appeal in a short story sense. You gotta have a beginning, a middle, and end. It's very snappy. It looks very nice. This whole book looks great. Uh, oh yeah, gorgeous. I, I we haven't touched on it enough, but uh, Jeff Shaw and uh, the the uh, what do you call it? The the artist. I want to make sure I get the name right here. Uh, the artist, the colorist. I'm sorry, uh, Antonio Fabella. Uh, very very good. Great job, I, guys. I, uh, fantastic job. Yeah. Iconic Thanos, I think. It's when I think of Thanos, comic book Thanos, this is what I think of. I made the Mephisto panel my uh, phone background. That's oh, nice. yeah. that's a good that's one. Nice. All right. That's. I mean, that's kind of weird whenever you're like swiping, like putting in your <laughs> password, you're like committing something. I don't know. Hey, it just occurred to me. Do, does Thanos like shave his head every day? In the comic, it seems like he doesn't because he doesn't. He has uh, they, mm, yeah. the Cosmic Ghost Rider mentions that barber thing. Remember he has that barber joke? It's like, oh, you know, you sit in a barber chair for a long time. Oh, you know, yeah. you, gotta get a haircut. you gotta get a haircut. You know what I mean? And Thanos is like, no, I, I do not know what you mean. <laughs> uh, but in the in uh, Thanos in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, if you look really closely in Infinity War, uh, Thanos' head starts like clean shaven, and like after a few days, towards the end of the the movie, it's you can cool. see stubble on his head. So really, he should have. Half a shaved head. Yeah. <laughs> he well, killed all his living hairs. Maybe, yeah. maybe he shaves like his torso, like right to here to top, like his, his torso oh, up, yeah. and then everything his below legs are hairy. his so legs hairy. and uh, his. He's got like a really hairy uh, ass <laughs> and everything. Somebody like that. draw this. It's perfectly <laughs> One balanced. Of our fans, please. It's perfectly draw. balanced. Oh Thanos' is hairy please, ass. Please don't um, send it to me. Directly. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, we're we're about to wrap up here, but before we go, I do want to touch on our panel picks, uh, which are uh, you know the moments that we uh, each of us have picked out a special moment or sequence or panel uh, from this book that uh, speaks to us the most, that uh, is most memorable, um, maybe encapsulates the experience for you. My personal pick was towards the end of the book when uh, Thanos is about to, young Thanos is about to go back in time with the Time Stone. He looks uh, old King Thanos dead in the eye and says like. I'm going to erase you. Uh, I don't have to kill you because I'm going to make sure you never exist. Dad, basically. <laughs> That's what this whole story is about. It's basically like a, like a father-son story. Um, it makes even more sense when uh, you look at uh, the one of the graphic novels previously by this team, Donny Cates and Jeff Shaw worked on a book called God Country, which is like is an original story. It's like, uh, really good, but it's a lot, it has a lot to do with dads mm. okay. and, uh, and fatherhood. And I feel like... Um, the idea that I will never become you out of spite, despite the fact that he literally is already him, yeah. uh, is such a very like father son, mm. like spiteful dynamic mm. that really spoke to me. And it also spoke to. Uh, it's a story you've never heard before. Yeah, exactly. and we won't tell it here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I thought that um, 
he, even though he looks so cool while he's doing it, like he's like just like grabbing the stone, everything's shining, and like it's like his big speech, his big fateful moment. That it's the words are are inherently empty by themselves. Uh, I thought that was really great, and I thought that was the that was specifically the moment that everything clicked for me in uh, Thanos's motivations and his depiction. Uh, in this book, uh, but uh, Carolyn, uh, you picked something different. What what panel did you pick? Yeah, I picked a panel that was them saying like, "This is basically." I felt like the writers being like, "Isn't this crazy and mm-hmm. cool?" Yeah, and I loved that. What what was it? It was the. It's the. Uh, do we have it up here? No. Oh. Um, it's the, it's uh, it's Silver Surfer, uh-huh. I think, and the ghost. Ghost. Yeah, the cosmic ghost, cosmic rider. ghost yeah. rider. The one where he smashes his head off with the with the Milner. And yeah, and he's like, and he none says, of this matters. He says, I don't care. Yeah, he says, I don't care. And uh-huh. I thought that was so fun because this really this whole book felt like a joyous exercise of playing with these characters that mm-hmm. we know and love and have so much fun with. And uh, just really, sort of like bashing the toys together. Yeah, basically. it was like great. It was okay. so it was a fun exercise sure. in joyous was, destruction uh, and yeah. fucking how metal can you get? How metal can you get? Randy, top that. Uh, here's the thing. I can't quite top it because I picked the same panel yeah. for very different reasons. We chose uh, the same okay. <laughs> uh, I chose the same panel because it's yeah, it's a fun power fantasy like, ooh, what's going to happen? But for me, the book didn't really have any stakes. The only character that they like fleshed out, if you were reading this as standalone, was Cosmic Ghost Rider. Okay. You got to see him. And then in this panel, they kill him and say, I don't care. And it's just like, <laughs> oh, oh, so this is what you did to me. You made me not care about this book. They, wow. It was good art. It, it elicited an emotion from you. An emotional it reaction. Did. Yeah, it was, ugh. Was the sound that still I made. counts? It was fascinating to me because the whole thing with Cosmic Ghost Rider is that he can't be killed, and like he's like, "Hey, Thanos, you can try, but you can't kill me." And then uh, Silver Surfer just comes in and says, "Uh, actually, boom, boom. you're dead." Act- and like uh, with Mjolnir, I mean, I that's a powerful yeah. weapon. It, it is, but Thanos didn't have anything that powerful. He had the Surtur Sword. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's like a rock, paper, scissors thing. It is. Like, maybe, yeah. Know. Maybe it's like a Pokemon thing. Yeah. Uh, rock, fire. paper, scissors, uh, Thor's hammer. Hammer yeah. beats fire. Uh, fire beats Thanos. Ghosts. Fire yeah. beats time stone. There you go. Perfect. That that It all makes sense. I'm glad we uh, arrived here. Uh, whew, uh, what a ride that was. Um, Car- Carol, I think I know your answers already, uh, but I, I just want to make sure and double check. I might surprise Car- you. Uh <laughs> Carolyn, would you recommend Thanos Wins? Highly recommend Thanos Wins. Uh, very fun book. The art was great. Sexy Death. Thanos Thanos. Blood Snow. Ghost Rider. Old Hulk. You get to see Old Storm in profile, which I really enjoyed okay. at one yeah. point because she's still got guns. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So read this comic. Walk, don't run. Run, don't walk. Your local comic book store. Yeah, support your local comic book store. We should. We, we don't say that enough. Uh, you can buy these things digitally. It's more convenient. Um, it's definitely uh, sometimes cheaper in a lot of cases. But like supporting, there's not too many uh, comic shops left, and it's a it's a tough business. So when if you can, you know, you know, yeah. Jeff Bezos doesn't need any more money. Let's no. just say that. Yeah. But he will get it to you in two days. <laughs> All right. Wow. Uh, Evil Randy. Wow. I'm just saying, this is the way the world works now. Randy, the, I miss mom and pop shops, but I love convenience. The uh, <laughs> Randy, uh, since you're the villain of this podcast, <laughs> yes. uh, what did you uh, what did you think of this book? What, what did, did you recommend it? Oh, would I recommend it? Yeah. Okay, those are two different answers. Would you and recommend it? Would you recommend it? Is what I say. Honestly, if you just wanted like a throwaway story that you just you just want to read a comic and like like have some fun with it and nothing matters, then read it because. They made nothing matter. Like you can, you can have fun with the Ghost Rider. You can watch Thanos beat himself up. Mm-hmm. You can, you can see a bunch of space bugs. It's, it's got stuff. If you like, if you like the idea of metal without any substance, like Randy has the it. most defeated aura. You're just like so sad. It's like I, like they took away what I would have cared about. Put that on the oh, you know back what? of the book. If you like stuff, you'll love this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will highly recommend the annual, though, that's stable to the back of this mm-hmm. 
book. Um, it's very fun. I love 22 short stories about Thanos. Fantastic. That is, uh, that is a, that's a good angle on it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of very cutesy things happen in it. Uh, mm-hmm. There's literally like what happens when Thanos visits a very, very cute universe, mm-hmm. and it's fun. It's the most fun I've had in this entire reading. Okay, great. Um, I think I'm a little less high on it than uh, Carolyn, who seems to be like, you know, to the moon. But like, I still had a lot of fun with it the whole time through. It is uh, one of those. It's just one of those things for me where like time travel, uh, alternate universe things. Like, I'm still a little fatigued. It has enough there, and it takes the best parts from uh, different alternate universe timeline stories that uh, I'm still into it. Um, I just need, I just need a, a regular, like modern day story. You know what I mean? Don't give me, don't give me what ifs. Just give me a, just give me a thing. And then yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't blame the story like for things? being. You like things? You like stuff? <laughs> Read some comic books. You know, if it, you know, there were 12, uh, there might've been like 12 or 16 other issues before in the Thanos ther- series before that one. And we're talking about this one. So maybe, you know, they're probably onto something. Uh, so uh yeah i i would i would definitely recommend it i I don't say i wouldn't say it's required reading for like someone going into avengers endgame walk don't run uh or or (laughs) someone who wants a refresher out in infinity war because it's just going to confuse you because the characters uh uh, thanos and thanos are are very different uh wait which one is is old thanos thanos or no 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 they're they're both comic thanoses or it's old thanos and thanos (laughs) And then the movie Thanos is, is Thanos. Thanos. Correct. In Thane in the membrane. Wow. Uh, on that note, we have to leave. <laughs> we have to go. I'm sorry. You got um, the simultaneous wow. Thank you so <laughs> much uh, for joining us, everyone at home. Uh, tune in next week. We are going to be reading uh, Supergirl, uh, be- Being Super by uh, uh, Mariko Tamaki and uh, Joelle Jones and um, I heard that's a real fun one I'm looking forward to it um, if, read along if you would like uh, until then uh, we will see you all in the funny papers hey everyone if you like this uh, be sure to check out dropout.tv where we've got this show and lots of other dorkly shows one week early you can watch shows like Total Forgiveness, What the F101, and so many more fantastic shows. Absolutely. And if you go to dropout.tv, you get a one-week free trial just for signing up. So go ahead and do that and watch us for free. Yeah!